Subsurface scattering is super simple in Blender 2.8. I did that first take. Hey guys, welcome. Oh, that rhymed! Wow! <laughs> hey guys, one by Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 beta. Once again, taking a look at, as promised, a very quick, very easy subsurface scattering tutorial. We just did a subsurf in uh, in Blender, uh, in, in the, the current version of Blender. Uh, so today we're going to be doing it in 2.8 because things are a little different, but it's much, much better. And you'll see as we progress through the video. So first of all, I want to go ahead and select my dragon here, which I got off of uh, 3dscans.com. I think that's the name of the, the, the website. I think that is. I'll put it down in the description, probably on a card, probably not in a card, but it'll be down in the description 100%. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead and select my dragon here. I'll turn on overlays back on. I have two lights just lighting the scene here pretty simple one backlight one of uh, uh, of course main light and then we're gonna select our dragon. I'm just gonna go up here to um, object uh, shade smooth to turn the, the smooth shading on um, and we'll split our window the way we do this is a little bit different We go ahead and just drag this corner. There is no boxes anymore. There's no little lines or anything we'll Just drag that split it in half and we'll change to the shader editor. Nope, not down there no, that's the that needs to be the, the the timeline up here is where we change it. It's upside down now shader editor and then we'll go ahead and just get rid of that. We don't need that. All right. So with our dragon selected, of course, we'll hit use nodes on our material. If we didn't already do that, which I already did. Let me do that just again on camera uh, new and we can just have a new material all ready for uh, us to go. We have a principal shader, of course, as the default. We can hit shift A and add something in, but we don't really need to do that right now. We can go ahead and just mess around with the principal shader as it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some subsurf by uh, putting one on our subsurf. And you can see nothing changed. Reason is because we need to go ahead and go to the uh, to the render tab here and turn on subsurface scattering. Now we have some subsurf going on. You can see instantly how amazing this looks. Um, we're done. No, I'm joking. Uh, uh, we can go ahead and change the color of our subsurf uh, by obviously changing the subsurf color right here. But um, this is just changing the actual color of the object to, to be able to change the color of the subsurf underneath, uh, like the fleshy tones or like the reddish undertone or whatever. I'm gonna make uh, this dragon kind of like a like a mint green sea foam like that. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, to change this brownish color that you see in the edges here, this is the subsurf color uh, by default. Obviously, you're, you're seeing what is shining through the model, um, but we can go ahead and change that by going and clicking this subsurf radius and then just changing these values. So I can change this 0.2 to, uh, to 1. You get more green. You can see a little bit there. We turn it down to 0. You get less green, obviously, and it's just more harsh now as well because this dark blue, you see that dark blue in there. Um, we can change this last value to one to get even an even more vibrant blue, um, which looks kind of cool with like a stylistic kind of thing. Maybe you're doing some kind of animation where it's very stylistic, like um, Borderlands or uh, Spider-Man into the Spider or into the Spider-Verse. Uh, something really, really stylistic. This would definitely help you do something uh, like that. So uh, we can go ahead and change around all these values. I'll change these back to point two. Um, and I'll change this one to point to as well the top one you see we lost all pretty much of that color This is uh, this is the red up here, which is going to give us most of that brown color But you can go ahead and play around with all these settings um, And and get your desired effect. This looks really cool. I think I might leave it like that I think that that peachy kind of color looks really really pretty cool. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for today's uh, Really quick simple tutorial just wanted to go over it and make sure I had something about Blender 2.8 subsurf on uh, on the channel here. You can go ahead and downsize this um, uh, upside upsize or open this subsurf scattering uh, section on the right hand side here and change around the, the samplings to get a more high quality uh, subsurf. Obviously, higher you go, the more uh, the more resolution you'll have, the more samples, and then the lower you go, the less samples you'll have. Obviously, you're seeing a bit more grain in there. You're seeing a lot uh, darker of a color than as it was before and what was it I think it was I think the default was 15 or something like that maybe we'll bump it up to like 32 for the time being I guess I suppose uh, that looks good the way it is and then of course the jitter threshold you can, you can lower and raise this you can see the, the difference that it makes down there see these lines right there go ahead and turn that up and those disappear so there you go all right uh, and I think that was somewhere around point point zero seven maybe point seven I don't remember where I was on but anyway anywho um, yeah, so we can go ahead and do that. And of course, this would separate uh, our Abido right there. So you can use that for other projects. But simple, straightforward. That's it for our subsurf. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, you're going to need some lights to be able to see the subsurf. 
Uh, so make sure you have some good lights. But other than that, that is it for today's really quick, simple tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. You can add in a little bit of metallic in here as well to give us a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. 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 There you go. That's looking good. Looking good. We'll go over a principled shader uh, by itself in the future. But for now, subsurf time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.